The iPhone 16 is going to be announced in two weeks from today. Apple has just announced their September 10th event, and here's everything we should expect from the event. From everything including new iPhones to Apple Watches and AirPods. First, the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus. These devices will be getting an all-new vertical camera bump to capture spatial video for Apple Vision Pro. These devices will be getting the action button from the iPhone 15 Pro and an all-new capture button that will function like the shutter button on a DSLR. These devices will also get the all-new Apple A18 chip with support for Apple Intelligence, and these devices will come in five colors, black, white, pink, green, and blue. They'll start at the same price of $799 and $899 for the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus respectively. Next, the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max. These devices will be getting larger 6.3 inch and 6.9 inch displays with much slimmer bezels. These displays will also be getting more efficient and brighter. They'll be getting that same capture button from the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus for DSLR-like functionality. They'll be getting Apple's all-new A18 Pro chip. This chip will be getting the all-new architecture from the M4 chip, delivering up to 25% faster performance than the A17 Pro, along with a faster neural engine with more cores for more advanced features for Apple Intelligence. These devices will be getting a new 48 megapixel ultra wide camera, and the smaller iPhone 16 Pro will be getting the same 5x telephoto camera from the iPhone 15 Pro Max. These devices will be coming in four colors black titanium, white titanium, gray titanium, and an all new bronze titanium. The smaller iPhone 16 Pro may start with 256 gigs of storage, which may cause the price bump to $1099, but we don't know this for sure. There's more than just iPhones coming, of course. Next, the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch Series 10 will be coming with larger 45 and 49 millimeter displays, along with a new blood pressure and sleep apnea features, though it's unclear if these made the cut. We should also expect a faster S10 SIP for the same prices as the Series 9. The Apple Watch Ultra 3 is also coming with the same health features, same SIP, and a new black titanium finish for the same $799 price. And the Apple Watch SE 3 should also be coming with a new plastic body for a significantly lower price than the current SE. Last, AirPods. AirPods 4th Gen will be coming with the same H2 chip as AirPods Pro 2, along with a new case with Find My and USB-C. AirPods 4 will also be getting active noise cancellation for the first time on regular AirPods. AirPods 4th Gen will also be getting a lower end model to replace AirPods 2nd Gen. This lower end model will get the same H2 chip and USB-C, but no noise cancellation and no Find My. AirPods Max will also be getting a minor refresh with USB-C and new colors. The Apple Watch models should be available for pre-order right after the event, while the new iPhones and AirPods will go for pre-order on Friday, September 13th, and everything will be available on Friday, September 20th iOS 18, iPadOS 18, WatchOS 11, tvOS 18, and VisionOS 2 should be available on Monday, September 16th, while macOS Sequoia will be available on Tuesday, September 24th. And Apple Intelligence will launch in October with iOS 18.1, iPadOS 18.1, and macOS Sequoia 15.1. So that's what to expect from Apple's September 10th event. What are you most looking forward to? Let me know in the comments.